Armed with rakes and determination, about 70 volunteers spent a morning cleaning invasive algae out of Wikiwachi Springs in Hernando County. The volunteer event was a coordinated effort by the Southwest Florida Water Management District and local Rotary Clubs to remove Lingbia algae. While there are some good algae, this quick-spreading organism crowds out native vegetation and shades existing plants as well as decreases the amount of good habitat for fish. Volunteers used specially designed rakes to remove the algae and loaded it on kayaks. You rake it out without removing the eelgrass. We're trying to preserve and clear off the eelgrass that's there, the lingbia gets on it smothers it, kills it, and the eelgrass is good. A pontoon boat hauled away the total load and it was used as fertilizer at other locations. This will help maintain the benefits of a district restoration project at Wikiwachi in 2009 when sediments were removed from the spring. Art Jones inspired the cleanup event with a similar effort he organized with the Crystal River Kings Bay Rotary. He said this type of community effort sends a message about the importance of our springs. We had um, Rotarians here, we had community volunteers here, we had people from Swift Mud here, we had people from DEP here, we had people from all walks of life sort of joining together to clean up the environment and show that they care about wiki-watchy. And that's what I like is when you see the community integrated. You integrate all the different things and we're all working toward that common cause. The district's Springs team leader, Chris Anastasio, hopes all the volunteers learn those types of lessons and much more. I hope that people walk away from this event with an appreciation of what's here. It's really important to know that this river is a resource that is really unlike any in the world. And when you get public ownership of a resource like this, it is hugely important because then people really begin to understand the problems that these resources face and also can do something about it. To find out more about this spring or the other projects by the Springs team, visit watermatters.org slash springs.